Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. If you are not new here, thanks for coming back. I am a 51 year old makeup artist and professional hairstylist. I don't do it anymore, but I have for over 25 years. This video today is going to focus on drugstore products. I use a lot of high end, but it was a request to do an all drugstore video and I'm happy to do so. And I quite like this look actually. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave and the like button helps me out so much. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I upload almost every day over on those platforms. I'm so glad you're here with me and let's get going. Today I am going to do a, try to do a full face of drugstore makeup. It was for requested by one of my viewers to do this. And I went to Walmart yesterday. I picked up a bunch of stuff, but I just self tan last night. So I have to pick the one that actually matches. And I think this one will. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth Foundation. And I just tested it on my skin and I think it's gonna work. I also picked up the Everyday Smoky Palette by e.l.f. And I'm really excited to use this one because I have the Rose Quartz, no, Rose Gold Palette and the, um, mood nude the nude mood nude mood mood nude I'm not sure palette and I really like those so I'm excited to do something a little bit more dramatic for Christmas this one is in the color 125 for my birthday Sephora gave me the Tatcha Dewy skin cream and that's what I have on my face I do find it quite rich though and I'm a dry skin so I'm just gonna tap it off a little bit like I can yeah I can feel it sticking so I don't want that to affect my foundation. I'm gonna just tap that off a little bit. That's a little trick, by the way. If you feel like you've put too much on, then that will definitely work. There's no pump or anything out of this, so I just put a Q-tip in, and I'm gonna dot that all. Oh, look it, I got cream all over. Look, what a shame. <laughs> I'm a mess, as always. I have a little bit of an eczema patch happening here. I'm not too thrilled about that. I'm not sure why. I've had it since coming back from my cruise. So I'm not sure if the weather just kind of got to me. Who knows? I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics brush and just smooth that out. Yeah, I feel like that's a good color match for me. I like being able to find foundations from the drugstore. Another one that is one of my favorites is the L'Oreal True Match Serum Foundation. I did pick this one up as well, but I am a little bit dark for it today. So I'll have to let my self tan wear off a little bit to try that one out. Yeah, that feels nice. This used to be raved about all the time when I used to watch YouTube videos in the past. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more here to see if I can get more coverage. I have some left on my Q-tip. Let me just see if patting that on will give me a little bit more coverage. Right where those damn sunspots are. I'm actually going for a treatment after Christmas to a clinic that I go to here. It's the same clinic that does my Morpheus 8 and my IPL and my microneedling, all that kind of stuff, and my Botox. So I'm going there to get PicoSure, and that will hopefully look after those sunspots. My only concern, and I'm going to talk to her about it, of course, is I have had treatments done before where it created a hypopigmentation. So I'm hoping that that won't. I don't think it will, though, because the PicoSure is supposed to be good for all skin tones. And she already knows my skin really well, so I'm sure she wouldn't do something on me that she was nervous about. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and brighten up underneath my eye just a touch. Is this the hydrating? No, this is the matte. That's good. I like the matte better. And I'm actually going to put that on my eyelid as well to even out my skin tone on my eyes. A little bit goes a long way. I'm sure I used too much as usual. And then taking it around my nose and whatever's left, I'm just gonna tap over this area. So this is where all my fine lines and wrinkles are. I really don't want a whole lot there, but I do want it to connect. I don't wanna see a stop and start where my concealer is and where it ends. There, nice and bright. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm not a huge highlight and contour person on my nose. I have a crooked nose. <laughs> so, I mean, not horribly, but it is there. And if I really do things around my nose, like contour and highlight, it can accentuate the fact that it is just a little bit crooked. So I don't do a whole lot of that, but I will bring it there just to make sure all the redness is out of my nose. And as I've gotten older, my nose just runs constantly. So it's always red. So I'm gonna put my bronzer right here. It's a contour, but really is it? It's kind of a bronzer. 
And I'm going to just pat it out. I forgot to tell you what I'm using. I'm using the NYX contour stick and highlighting stick. And just going to make sure that that's nice and warm. That's exactly how I want it. So I don't go lower. You can see that the top of my ear is right here and there's a line that goes from my mouth to my ear. So I don't go lower than that area. And I'm blending it out with padding motions. And it blends out so nice. I'm gonna do the same thing on my forehead. Somebody mentioned the other day that they came out with a new formula and that it's a little bit drier. I'm using the one that's not the new formula. So that'll be interesting. I'll see if I can find one in the new packaging and compare the two. I think it was Angie from Hot and Flashy that mentioned that. Let's try this baby out. I gotta open this up. Is everyone ready for the holidays? I get kind of panicky. I have four kids and they're adults, so they're good to kind of tell me what they want. Two of the kids, one is coming home from Brooklyn and she wants clothes. So I really can't buy her anything until she gets here because we said we would go shopping. And I hate leaving things to the last minute like that. The other daughter doesn't really feel right asking for anything. She's so cute. She said, what do you want for Christmas? And she said, um, a reading light for my book. I'm like, okay, but what else do you want for your, uh, for Christmas? And my son, he needs clothes. But again, like, how do you do that without taking them shopping with you? So I am going to do a dramatic look and I'm very excited. Then afterwards, of course, I'm going to do my hair to match. Maybe I'll go out for dinner tonight. I think actually we may go out for dinner tonight. I haven't been out for dinner in a long time. I think I'm going to start off with this color, even though it is a little bit of a brown, but it's a cooler brown. I'm going to make sure that my Concealer is not creased. That's really important. I'm going to go really light handed at first. Okay, so I'm going to build this up in circular motions and drag it up towards my brow. Let me get my brows on because I feel like that's going to quickly make this all look like it's coming together. The color I purchased is Ash Brown. And so far, so good. It looks like a nice thin pencil. It's a little bit dry, but I don't mind dry. I prefer dry over really creamy because then it gives me an option to push harder and create more like brush-like strokes. If it's too creamy, it's really easy to get out of hand. I feel better now that my brows are on. Now I'm gonna go into this color right here. This is a stiffer, shorter brush, by the way. This is a Refer 02. I will try to pin a comment up above all of yours to um, link the products. I'm having a problem with my YouTube description box and every time I try to link products in my description box, they just disappear. I have talked to YouTube and Google so many times, it's so frustrating. They just keep giving me excuses. So any product that I use today that I can find a link for, I will put them in a comment at the top of the comment section. I'll see if I can pin it so that you can find it easy enough. And it does help me when you use my links. Of course, it gives me just a little bit of commission. And uh, if you use them, I appreciate it. No pressure ever though. So I'm gonna place it on the outer corner and then start dragging it in like that. And then I can take my original brush that I used in my crease and I can drag it over a little bit just to diffuse the edges. I got a little bit of that shimmer right here because my brush hit it. So I'm gonna put a little bit here just to even it out. Now I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into the darker color and I'm gonna use the tip of it like this and really focus towards the base of the lash. I'm hoping you guys can see okay. I'm not having any fallout yet. That's good. So right at the base of the lash and then lifting a little bit in that outer corner. 
I'm gonna use another Refer 02 brush. This is clean, I have a couple, and I think I'm gonna go into this color right here. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into this matte color here first, and then I'm gonna go into the shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. It's hard to find grays. Not a lot of palettes have good grays. Look how smooth. How much did I pay for this palette? Like, so inexpensive. Now I'm gonna turn the brush around and I'm gonna go into this shimmer color right here. And I'm going to go over this area. Yeah, okay, so I'm having fallout right now. I'll have to clean that up. Can I flick that off? Not bad. You could also do your foundation after your eyes. Now I'm gonna take a Refer 03 brush, 03, and dip it into this color right here. So I want that to be a little bit lighter and brighter right there. That's my inner corner highlight. Now look like this, I wouldn't choose to highlight with a shimmer up here. So I am gonna use this natural skin tone color and highlight underneath my brow bone with it. I just wanna make sure it's all connected and clear. Make sure my brow is nice and connected. If you're new here, generally I will use the shadow as my eyeliner. Very rare do I actually use a pencil for my eyeliner. I just find it so much softer if I use one of the shadows. I think I'm gonna start off with this light color first actually. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I don't want it too, too dark. And this gives a nice soft look. I'm gonna go back into this darker color here and make sure that this is connected right there. This eye always goes better than this eye. I think it's just different shape. You also have to let me know which is your favorite mascara out of the drugstore. I have the Voluminous Carbon Black, that's my go-to, but I know that there's a ton out there and yeah, I'd love to know your suggestions and try them out for myself. Not everybody can afford or wants to spend. Some people can afford and they just don't see themselves spending $30 or so on mascara and I get it. Really make sure when you do your mascara, to get right to the base of the lash and wiggle and pull. And when you need a new mascara, get a new mascara. <laughs> I have a friend that can't comes over for a book reading club and she was over one night and I said, Jewel, her name's the same as mine. I said, Jewel, you, uh, your mascara is running out, isn't it? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, go buy yourself a new mascara. Cause I could see, I could see her lashes hardly had anything on them. I got some mascara on my inner rim, so I'll show you what I do. I just lick my Q-tip, I go in and wipe it off. I know it looks gross, but it works. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. right here. I don't need it, but it's drugstore and I just wanna have fun with it. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first and then I'm just gonna tap it on. don't have a powder that's drugstore. I will work on that for sure. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. It is my go-to, never fails me. And I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 102 brush for this. It's nice and light and fluffy. For bronzer, I love my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love the smell of coconut. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. So if you don't like that, you won't like this. I'm going to take a nice kind of fluffy light brush. You can see that this brush has lots of flex to it. This is a Royal & Lang Nickel BOM 37. I'm gonna put it right over where I put the NYX bronzer or contour stick. It's gonna help warm up my face again, warm up my forehead. The only one I have is a Wet n Wild. I don't know if the color is going to go. What color is this? It doesn't even say what color it is. It is like a peachy color. If I can find out which one it is, I will put it in the link as well for you. Oh, it's nice. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I don't always love, but I think it suits for this look. I think I'm going to go with a nude lip. I love the L'Oreal Color Riche. This is 800 Ferris Nude. Do you think I like this color? I have four. For Rimmel 009. I hope you can still get them. That's a sign that I have to use it. I 
I always fill it in just a little bit, right, like that. And then I'll use my Color Reach Ferris Nude. It will be interesting to see how this foundation lasts all day. It feels really comfortable and I feel like it looks like skin, which of course is also really important to me. Even though I had to finish it up with powder, to me it doesn't look cakey at all. It doesn't look makeup-y. The eyeshadow is a dream, of course, so I had no doubts about that one. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell before you leave. I love making these videos for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.